Jose Young here with MMA Fighting talking to Arnold Allen ahead of his fight against Gilbert Melendez. We're, of course, at the UFC 239 Media Day. Now, Arnold, this is your first fight in the United States, yeah. if I'm not correct? That's right, that's right. So, uh, big card, first fight in the U.S. Feelings going into this? I'm very excited. You know, it's, it's everything you want as a professional athlete. You want to get on the big cards, the big names, and, you know, the numbered shows, the pay-per-views, all that stuff. Vegas, the home of fighting, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what you want. Now, you're, you're, you are fighting Gilbert Melendez, and I was looking at your record, and correct me if I'm wrong, you made your professional debut in 2012, I believe. It, he was already gearing up to fight for the UFC Championship yeah. when you made your debut. Yeah. What was your earliest memories of Gilbert Melendez? Was it the Strike Force fights? Was it the UFC fights? Yeah, I think it was when he fought Strike Force. I think it was his uh, Strike Force title fight in uh, with Thompson. Yeah, so I think 2009, I would have been 15 or 14. So, yeah, long time ago. Was his name ever, like when you were starting out in MMA, you obviously he was a champion in your weight, well, he wasn't even champion in your weight class. He was lightweight at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was this ever a fight on your radar that could be a possibility? No, no, not until they offered it to me. I, I never really, it was never really someone I looked at the fight. I watched his fights, of course, but uh, yeah, I never thought they would put that together. And when they did, I was, I was really excited. So I, I'm happy they did. And he is on a bit of a, a, a losing skid. You're on a, a, one of the hotter streaks in the division. Uh, what do you make of his last few performances? Uh, what do you think's going on with that? Because a lot of fans are expecting the old Gilbert every time he comes out, but he's on a little bit of a skid. Yeah, well, he's at that point of his career, and he's so, you know, that's what happens. You know, you, you, you fight one too many fights, your body sort of can't keep up with you. And just unfortunately, that's nature. And, uh, but. I'm expecting the best one as well as all the fans. I'm expecting a prime Gilbert to come out and give me 100%. I, I think he will. And, uh, you know, his last few losses, they're all to elite competition. So I, I can't take anything from him. I can't take anything and say, you know, he's lost it, he's gone to shit. Because they're all, they're all elite guys. So, yeah, I'm expecting a tough test. And you're on, a, I believe, a four or five fight win streak, five in the UFC. You're not even in the top 15, though. Uh, is that the, are, are you a type of guy, like I've spoken to Israel Asani before, and he kind of lays out his, I have to do this, and then this, and then this to get 15, top 10, top five. Are you one of those type of fighters? Uh, no, no. I just sort of lay the, lay the goal down there, and I'll get there however I get there, you know? I want to get to this point, and I'm going to get there. So, yeah. I do think about it, but I'm not, I don't like, I have to fight this guy, fight this, yeah. I don't have a web of who I want and all that. Just uh, if I keep winning fights, they have to give me a ranking, right? So, yeah. Mm. What do you make of the state of the division right now? I mean, Max, he did go up to lightweight. He's now coming back down. He's going to fight Frankie Edgar. You had Korean Zombie had a big a big KO win. Alexander Volkanovsky is obviously chomping at the bids to fight for the title. Uh, where do you see yourself in maybe a year? Are you up there with those guys? And what do you make of the state of the division yeah. right now? I mean, I think a win here, I, sh I should be up with those names. Uh, a win over Gilbert Melendez, I think, puts me with those names and uh, the top 10, top 15, it has to. But um, yeah, definitely in a year, definitely in a year. I'm still young, I'm 25, so uh, I've got time. And how active do you want to stay this year? Is there is there a card, like, obviously you're not looking past Gilbert, you want to pick up the victory, yeah. but as someone who is so young, is it just stay active as much as possible? You're going to be a little more, when you crack that top 15, maybe a little more choosy with your opponents. Uh, no, like, I'd like to fight again, you know, if this year, if, if possible. But, um, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess, get paid more money. I guess yeah, I'll be a bit more serious with the business side of things. But uh, yeah, I leave that to my coaches and I leave that to my team and my management. Uh, I don't pick the fights; they tell me what's up. So, yeah. And switching gears for a second, I'm your countryman, Brandon Lochnane. He's also in your division. Yeah. Uh, he didn't get the uh, the contract in Dana White Contender Series. It was kind of a big deal, uh, even uh, even on your side of the pond. A lot of fans would, yeah. were tweeting about it. What did you make of that whole situation? So I didn't watch the fight. I never really watched the shows or anything. But uh, yeah, by the sound of it, he deserved it. I, I don't know why he didn't get it. But at the end of the day, it's like if I go on holiday in the country and they don't want to let me in when I get to the door, it's their right, isn't it? So uh, I guess that's it. That is what it is. There's nothing you can say, really. Right. And then one final one, a win over Gilbert Melendez does what for you? Should put me in the rankings. Right. It bloody should, well. <laughs> I should hope so. Well, good luck on Saturday.